Hey guys, so today I decided to finally make a video I've been wanting to make for quite a while, but I've still been kind of new to Wicca and I wasn't 100% sure about doing a video of an altar setup. February 2nd is Imbolc, which is one of the 12 Sabbaths um, I've been trying to celebrate every Sabbath um, since probably September, I think maybe August was the first Sabbath I actually like celebrated. Um, this will be my fourth altar that I have um, done since I started really delving and practicing uh, Wicca. Um, so I'm super excited. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's beautiful. Um, I've been planning this altar for a while. I even like drew out like a diagram like schematic of where everything should go. A quick little side note, in bulk takes place on February 2nd. It's uh, the Sabbath that is celebrating the first glimpses of spring with more light. Um, fire is a huge part of in bulk. Symbolism behind that being you light fires, encouraging and welcoming back the light since the winter tends to be long and dark. I am not huge into like the goddess, um, the different gods and goddesses that um, most Wicca celebrates. In bulk is also known as Bridget's Day, which Bridget is a goddess. Um, I did make a Bridget's Cross, which I don't think it turned out the greatest and I think I need some more practice. <laughs> Another reason I was excited is because in bulk it uses a lot of colors. Um, you're still going to have like greens and browns, but you're also going to have whites, pinks, light blues, light purples. So, and I mean, obviously you'll see my altar reflects that because <laughs> I love color. Also for in bulk, you can do like a lot of like spring cleaning and just airing out the winter and everything the winter brought with it. Um, it's just about focusing on new beginnings and the blessings that you still have after the long winter and all the blessings to come in the spring and summer and it's just it's a really refreshing Sabbath to celebrate and I'm super excited. So today I thought I would share with you guys my in bulk altar and how I set it up. So first I'm going to start off by saying my altar is super simple. It's literally just a tote we keep our camping supplies in. I plan to upgrade, but for now, it gets the job done. So I also have this pink fluffy bath mat. We bought it for Charlie originally, and we do share it, but I like to use it to sit on when I'm working at my altar. So for my altar cloths, I use tablecloths from the dollar store. They are cheap, they come in lots of colors, and if you spill on them, you don't feel bad because you're ruining a nice piece of cloth. Next, I'm going to smudge my altar area, get out any leftover energies, any negativity, and just make sure it's a nice clear space for a new altar. Next, I'm going to put up my pentacle or pentagram, whichever you'd like to call it, um, as a protection for my space. Then I'm going to add my god and goddess candles Next, I'm going to add some purple sand and some salt. And in those, I'm going to place some pink candles. I love doing this because not only are they effective candle holders, but then you have your earth and salt elements on your altar. Then I'm going to add this purple candle and some turquoise stones around it.
Next, I'm going to add my bell, which I use for starting and ending um, rituals and workings. Next, I'm going to add this bowl. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy I bought it. Now this is going to be my offering bowl, which I'm going to fill with chamomile, chamomile, however you want to say it, buds. Next I'm going to add my amethyst. This is one of my oldest crystals and one of my favorites. Now this is my first ever attempt at a Bridget's Cross. It is not great, but I'm going to put it on my altar. Next I'm adding my incense holder, along with some vanilla incense. And then I got these flowers from Dollar Tree. Honestly, Dollar Tree is one of the best place to get Wicca supplies. It is so cheap. They have so much you wouldn't think that you could use for Wicca that you can. So I'm just going to pull these off the stem and use them to decorate the back of my altar. And here you have my in bulk altar. I love it. I think it is so beautiful. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm super excited to start sharing more of this stuff with you guys just because it's so interesting and beautiful and I'm just, I'm, I'm loving it. It's for the first time in a long time, I feel like I have a religion, if you want to call it that, but that makes sense. That makes me feel good and whole and just eh. most religions they just get so heavy and they just drag you down with all this negativity and Wicca just Wicca just doesn't do that for me like it's just so beautiful and free and yeah I just love it <laughs> all right I love you guys so much and I will see you later